and welcome to another episode of FUBAR. In today's video, I want to show you how you can build a CloudWatch dashboard using AWS CDK. In that way, when you deploy your whole projects, your stacks, then you'll have a dashboard uh, with the right metrics for you to see it. This video is part of a longer series of videos and in the end, I tell you more about it. But let's get started. We will start with an AWS CDK application that has multiple stacks. And this application is something like this. We will find a stack that contains the backend with the Lambda function, that this will be a uh, web application hosted in the Lambda function. Then we'll have another stack with the Amplify uh, application, and that will have a hosted React application in there. Then we will have another stack with the Cognito, and then we have another stack for the storage. So we want to add a last uh, stack, another one. I think there's this, this the fifth stack uh, where we are going to do the CloudWatch dashboard part. So let's jump to the code and see this in action. So this is the code. Uh, you will get it in the link in the description box. And there I will add a new stack called observability stack. And here we are going to use AWS CDK. So basically, uh, we need to import the modules and the constructors, in this case, AWS CloudWatch. And then we will start uh, working on this. There is a couple of inputs that we need in order to build this uh, dashboard. In this case, the Amplify app ID, because we want to get some metrics in the dashboard about Amplify, and we want to get some metrics about the function. So those are two things I need in order to get the right um, metrics in the dashboard. If you want to draw Dynamo or API Gateway or things like that, you will need to get those uh, values in the stack, so then you can find the right metric. So that's something you need to know. So we'll start building the stack. And here, basically, the first thing we need to do is to create the dashboard. So we put just a name to the dashboard and whatever you like to put the name. I'm horrible at naming things, so I will call it dashboard one. But well, I thought it would be maybe better to put a longer name. <laughs> but well, no, yeah, it's always hard. And then after that, what we are going to do is to create the different widgets. So uh, how a CloudWatch dashboard is, is basically a collection of different uh, widgets, different graphs, uh, and those graphs display different metrics, one or more metrics. So here we are going to create uh, a lot of widgets that we are going to add into this dashboard for Amplify application and for the function application. So you can see here, I added a lot of the widgets related to Amplify. So we can look at them in more detail. The first, uh, there is like three of them. And some of them contains one metric, like this one, that is the uh, Amplify request. It's a, a sum, like you can see there. It's amount of request in the Amplify application. So that's why I need the ID. And in the, the sum in the one minute. So this is counting the amount of requests that there are one minute, and it will graph it. So this is very cool because then you will have um, the right <laughs> widget with the right metric, with the right everything in one place. And if you want to change it, change it here and it deploys everywhere else. So this is very convenient. Then we have another widget and this widget has two metrics in one. So we can graph as many things as we want in these graphs and we can decide if it's a number or it's a chai or there are different types of widgets. You can check that in the documentation of um, CloudWatch and, and CDK, how they're called. But I like to use a similar uh, graphing mechanism. So it's easier for me uh, to understand. If everything looks in a different format, then it's hard for my brain to process. So in this one, we have a graph that has uh, Amplify 4 and 500 errors. They are put in different colors. And you can see here that the first metric is the Amplify hosted 400 uh, errors, and it's coming from the Amplify ID. And then the, and that has the sum as well in one minute of those errors. And the second metric is the same, but for 500. And we draw them in the same thing. 
When you're doing this, it's important that the metrics are kind of relatable because they will share one of the axes. And if they are not comparable, then it's very hard to see what it's in the screen. And it's also good that the axis has the same measurements and metrics and um, kind of things. So then it's way easier to understand. Also, it's good that the duration, like the period, it's uh, comparable. So then in here we are doing for one minute. So we know if we get a free, it's like the sum of free 400 errors uh, that we got in one minute. And if we get a free, it's like free 500 errors that we got in a minute. So it's easier for our brain. And the last one is a different type of graph. And this, well, it's the same type of graph, but it's a different type of metric. And here we are doing the latency and it's the P99. So we want to draw the, the P99 that is basically the, uh, until the, the percentile 99, how the latency has been affected every minute. So in that way, we know if there is a high latency. Then I'm going to add the similar widgets for the lambda function. And these also uh, are multiple. And this will every of these widgets draw a little box with a graph in, uh, in my CloudWatch dashboard. So we can look at these widgets one by one. Some of them are very similar than the Amplify. So here we have the four 500 error. In the same way we did with the Amplify one, we have the two metrics there. Then we have the function error. So the first one was about the function URL for 500 errors. And this one is about the function errors itself. Again, it's a sum of the Lambda function. And there I need the Lambda name to build that metric. Then we have the P99 of the average uh, request duration and latency. And here you can see that again, there's two different metrics in this graph. One is the URL request latency, the amount of time that we uh, need in order to, to resolve that, um, that URL. And then the duration of each Lambda invocation. So we have that graph there. And sometimes you need to see if these things belong together and make sense together and provide information together. Now we have the sum of invocations and I have them in a widget by itself. And then I have the functions of concurrent invocations, the maximum amount of concurrent invocations in every minute. So all these are my, um, my different things that I'm going to draw. And I can basically create that uh, stack in the, in the bin uh, folder. I just import the observability stack and then I created and I pass those two values, the amplify and the lambda. And again, this is depends on what you want to graph. You might need to pass different type of parameters to your observability stack. So that's this is for this application in particular. So after uh, I define the, the stack, basically I can just deploy that stack because I only change the stack in this um, in this uh, CDK app. I will only deploy the the stack in particular and that will do everything and create all the dashboard for me so if i do cdk deploy and then the name of the stack that is mern observability stack that will deploy the cdk stack for me and the good thing is that if i have multiple environments then i will have multiple dashboards one for each environment and everything will be done automatically for me and everything will be pointing to the right place. So this is very, very convenient when you're working with bigger applications and you want to have um, dashboards in order to make sure that things are okay. So after we deploy, we go to the console, we go to CloudWatch, and then in dashboards, we can see the one that we just deployed. And here you can see each of the widgets, each of the widgets is one of those graphs. And here we can change the uh, period of the metrics that we are getting. We can uh, make sure that it's refreshing all the time or just get a period. And here you can see the different, um, different widgets and you can see like the metrics and everything is already uh, name and color correctly or well, according to what you have put in the, um, in the definition. So you don't need to rewrite anything and everything is there available for you. You can make one of these uh, widgets bigger and explore and you can get into the data uh, very easily. So this is something I totally recommend if you're working with bigger uh, stacks, that you have one stack that is in charge of building this application uh, dashboards for you. So then you can always have good uh, metrics and you can understand how your system is doing and how your system is improving over time. 
because uh, for example in here I was playing a little bit with the latency and how the application needs to improve and I can see already by looking at my metrics that I'm accomplishing that goal so uh, that's kind of what I wanted to show. So that's what I wanted to show you today. This was a very simple video, uh, but I think it's very, very important that you learn to do these graphs and you explore more these graphs. It's very powerful with CDK and very, very easy. And as I mentioned, this is part of a longer series of videos. Uh, this is, uh, I think, one of the last episodes on these uh, shorter videos where I explain one particular problem. I have covered from authentication to migration of the backend, from the frontend, from doing storage, from doing different things. And also I will have a longer videos where I will show you the migration of a web application, in this case, a MERN application, Mongo Express React Node application to serverless no servers involved but we will have a web application and we will do it in a lift and shift manner so i will leave you the playlist in the uh, description box of this video so you can go and check it out and watch all the videos and if the videos are not yet all available don't forget to subscribe you will get notified when a new video is out and i see you in another episode of Fuba. ciao ciao